What's happening, y'all? What is happening? Ugh, feel good. I might be wondering, why is he doing it later in the day? Because I woke up. Just woke up later in the day. I had an issue getting to sleep again last night. And didn't get to sleep until, I don't know, maybe four or five again. I didn't look at the clock, but I knew I was up for a while. Um, but I do actually remember waking up earlier and going back to sleep. I did wake up, but it was so faint of a memory, and I just remembered it now. But, uh, yeah, so, fast is still going well. Um, I want to, before I forget, I want to warn y'all, okay? Actually, no, you know, I should give a disclosure, okay? That, uh, you do this at your own risk, okay? And you need to educate yourself on water fasting before you do it. And you also may want to do it supervised by a medical physician, okay? Because get that all out the way, right? Because I see a whole lot of y'all saying, I'm going to do it too, I'm going to do it too. But I've told y'all several times about how I had issues when I first did it. And um, I was too gung-ho and I should have eased myself into fasting. So if you're not used to fasting yourself, you could have adverse effects. And if you do a lot of stupid shit or one stupid thing, like go play a football game on your fourth day, you might die from the exertion. So, you know, it's just it's a lot of people that go to these fasting clinics and, you know, do very well and have extraordinary benefits. But there was this one story I remember hearing once, reading one story about how this one fasting resort, they would go on these hikes in the sun and up mountains and anything and one person died from it so you know who knows was it the fast or was it not what i'm saying is you don't need to exert yourself exert yourself all right so anyway any of you watching right now also you need to go watch my intro we need to get this water fast on the way all right and all through day one through five that's y'all need to do because i answered a ton of questions Y'all still answering some of the same remedial questions. So you you just, just 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 drink water? That's it? That's all you do? You drink water? You don't eat nothing? You saying, if I have two M&Ms and my fat, it don't, I can't, I'm not still fasting. You know what I mean? It's like, water fast. So anyway. All right, all right. So, all right, so as you guys can see, you can see a slight difference even from yesterday. I can see it personally, okay? I actually think I look a little bit slightly, slightly harder, you know what I mean? Uh, so I always give y'all a front, a side, and a back look at me, okay? Um, I can still slightly feel the back creases. I know they're still there, but they're almost gone. So like I told you, I told y'all probably in a week uh, it'd be gone, so... Maybe in two more days, they will be going. Uh, all right, so, so here's the front, of course. You've been looking at that. Here's the side. And here's the back. So I know they're still there, but I almost can't feel them no more. So that's good. That's good. It'll be a very good feeling to be able to drive my car without feeling meat, meat rolled up on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some people that are getting bigger or are big or have been big for life, they just used to that. They got used to it and whatever. It's something I've never gotten used to. <laughs> when my weight started to kind of yo-yo a little while back, I used to be like, what the fuck is the fuck is this I can feel? Am I getting creases? What the fuck? You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's when I knew it was time to, to chill with my diet. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here are my readings. Um, okay, so yesterday, on day four, I was 214 pounds, 214 pounds, I always fuck that up. Every time I'm reading, is it because it's the morning or what? Every time I'm reading a stat, I always say 214 or whatever the number is, and if it has a point, I always fuck that up first. I was 214.8 pounds. And 19% body fat. Today, 
And today is actually closer. I'm doing the video closer to the full 24 hour mark. So I started my first fast at 1.30 p.m. that day. And now it's 12. Ow, shit. God damn it. I will kick the box, but it won't feel it. Fuck. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> you're wondering what happened. I tripped over a box. Um, now it's 12.30, so it's actually closer to that. But anyway, and on day five, I am 212.6 pounds. I told y'all, it's almost like two... Two pounds a day starts getting consistent. I told you. One to two pounds a day. Uh, 2.2 point. I'm sorry. 212.6 <laughs> 212. pounds. And 18.2% body fat. So I am burning fat. As you can see. Because yesterday I was 19%. So it is burning. It's not a, it didn't take me down a full percentage. But it's burning. From what I understand, fat is like, uh, per pound, it's like 3,500 calories per pound. So, if you really ain't doing much in your life while you're fasting, you might not lose fat that fast. But if you stay moderately active, which means taking a walk... Not taking a five mile run, you know, just taking a walk, going to the gym, and doing five sets of five for bench press if it's your chest day, and then maybe five sets of five flies and you leave. Not all this fucking extra Terminator type training that some of y'all want to do when you go in the gym. Fucking kill yourselves. So, um, yes, on top of the fact that, um, you know, fasting, and, and I might actually start adding um, uh, walking to it. The more I'm getting used to the fast, I might start adding some walking to it. Because I've been wanting to take these walks. Cause the, and the weather's been really nice over the past week or so for me. And uh, the sun's out. I want to get some good sun and everything, so... So that's good. So the first, so in five days, I've come from, I've lost more than 10 pounds. I've come from 226.2 pounds down to 212.6 pounds. And yes, there's some of that water, some of that carbs in the muscle, some of that doo-doo, yes. Oh, speaking of doo-doo, so... Um, <laughs> speak of the devil. There is something that may happen to you that happened to me. And I've always prided myself. And I, it still don't count as far as I'm concerned. But I always prided myself as a man for never having shitty draws or shit in my draws, okay? As a grown man, never shit my pants. Period. Even as a teenager, it never happened. Some dudes, I don't understand what your problem is, but okay. <laughs> there is something that happens where you can't. Because it is what's funny is now I'm thinking about it, this happens in regular life with people where they don't know whether it's gas. Or whether it's doo doo. I don't understand why you don't know that. <laughs> I don't know this specific feeling. Gas feels like air coming out of you. Your doo doo feels, well, it's different consistencies, but whatever. So, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about doo doo for my whole video. <laughs> so, there will be a point where you will get some gas. And when you go to expel the gas, you are going to shit your pants. And it will be... It'll be like you who Okay? Except the viscosity of more oil. Alright? I'm just letting you know that they may happen to you. Okay? It happened to me. 
for the first time. Uh, I don't think it was even my first fast. It was like a few fasts later, and I was, you know, I was sleeping. I was about to, I was in the bed, getting real tired, going to sleep, and had some gas, and I was like, fuck was that? I got with the whole tight butt walk to the, to the bathroom, and I was like, oh my god! Yeah, so y'all better be very careful when you get into the latter days. And I'm talking about past day three. You better be very careful of, because if you do it where you hour away from home, <laughs> you might need a whole new wardrobe from the waist down. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Don't be stupid. I'm helping you out now. <laughs> I'm helping you out now. So, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head to the gym to get a quick workout. In. Quick workout in before I handle any other videos today. Of course, I'll do a uh, reaction to the last Dragon Ball Super. I'll be doing Attack on Titan. Then of course I'll do whatever other reactions or whatever I have to do. So <laughs> yeah. Somebody must have said something smart. Let me see something. Yeah, okay. No, I see what it was, okay. Someone said, how do you distract yourself? So you, Well, that's the thing. Um, there's many things to do. Uh, you know, read a book, play a video game, go for a walk, talk to your friends, hang with your friends. Anything that you can do to get your mind off of uh, hunger or dreaming about food, do it. I was reading something last night that said, um, if you're going to dream about food, they dream about really good wholesome food for yourself so that's a so you think about like um, a, a, a wonderful fruit salad you know stuff like that and I'm like shit still that's murder for me I almost broke the other day when I went into uh, Whole Foods I went into Whole Foods yesterday I was telling my friend about that that's doing the fast with me I was like I'm almost broke like you did shit and uh, they're like nah, nah, nah don't break don't break don't break you can do this. <laughs> you can do it. But when I because I you know, I went in to actually get some more tea and uh, you know some more green tea and stuff. So and while I was in there, oh my god, I walked past the fruit. They had everything I've been wanting. They had grapes. They had watermelons. They had peaches and nectarines. They had oh everything that I just want to fucking eat right now. Sit down and eat fucking pig out. And uh, I, I literally almost broke. I literally almost broke. I was like, well, maybe I could buy a little bit and chew on it and spit it out. But, you know, like, but I didn't want to be that. I didn't want to do that, you know. I just wanted to stay strong. So I did. I was good. The further I got away after I checked out, the further I got away, the better it got. Uh, so that's why I don't know what I'm going to do Memorial Day because... You know, it's 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 literally an annual pilgrimage for me. You know, to always go back home, to always chill with family and friends, talk to everybody, and I just don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I I, I want to go back, but I don't know if I can without breaking. So, you know, I may just like I said have to go and leave at some point. Uh. <laughs> One kid said, I thought you were muscular. You must be five or something, if you can't tell. It's just fat over it. Let's see. Everybody thinks, it's funny that kids think that um, you, to be muscular, you have to be cut. That's absolutely false. Go look at a strongman competition, which I actually binge watched the other day. What's his name? Brian Shaw or Mark Shaw? Brian Shaw, right? Is it Mark Shaw? I can't remember, but his last name is Shaw. 
he's uh, I stumbled across his video where he ate 12,000 calories in one day and uh, if you were to see him a kid would be like ah he's a fatty but no this dude could literally twist your fucking head off kid he'll literally rip you apart because he's that fucking strong that he can lift cars and boulders and all these other things he's a very muscular man he just has a lot of body fat that's all <laughs> I, I don't know when I'm going to train today. I'll figure it out when I get there. Fasting for as long as I feel like. Brian Shaw. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I am looking leaner. Yeah, well, just joking. That'll get you banned, buddy. <clears throat> Trying to be funny. Someone said flex my chest. There you go. Chest flex. And see that? You can actually see the ripple of the muscle. You see that? You can see it. And you can see it rippling up as I flex. See that? So, yes, I am getting leaner. You know what I mean? Ladies, hey, ladies. If you need to change your panties, go ahead after that muscle flex. I understand it makes you want to ride Space Mountain. Woo! Or should I say Mount Magnus? Yeah. Shut up, honey. Yeah. Your mother rode Space Mountain 20 years ago. You might ride night. Woo! <clears throat> uh, what a dumbass. There. Uh, gotta ban you. Yeah, you're stupid. Going to the gym since 1996. <clears throat> Facial hair from the fast. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think a lot of you told y'all all to send me positive vibes that I can do this, that I can make it. Sometimes it's hard to do it without, you know, support of your friends. I mean, I I uh, did it. There's two. There's two. There's two schools of thought on fasting and whether you should tell people. And I think it's because people think differently. I personally believe that um, if you tell people, it'll help you to stick to it. Because they are going to be inquiring and asking you, oh, how far are you now? Did you make it? Did you, did you make it to day two? Did you make it to day three? You gonna keep going? But... It can also be detrimental because it could be people, oh, that's dangerous. You're going to kill yourself. Oh, you're going to gain more fat. You're going to gain it all back when you get over. You know, you know, people with the dumb negative attitudes that don't know what they're talking about. You only gain it back if you go back to eating the way you used to eat. Eat McDonald's every day and then you fast and you lose 50 pounds. You're going to gain it all back eventually because you're eating the same. This is for me to reset my whole calibration of my body and how it burns everything and my hormones. Fasting resets a lot of stuff in your body. So, but anyway, um, I, because of the type of personality I have, um, when I tell people, if they do have something negative to say, like, ah, uh, you'll never be able to do that or whatever, that just makes me want to prove them wrong. And for the people with the positive attitudes, like, like, yo, you can do it, it just makes me keep going too. You know, it gives me more and more, um, you know, um, Positive energy to just keep pushing through it. So, but the other school of thought is don't tell anybody because this is a personal journey. This is a personal thing. And there may be people that will say things to discourage you. So for the people that know that they don't do well with the negative things that people say, don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself. Stay strong. Maybe only tell someone that you know absolutely supports you and will help you positively through it. You know what I mean? That way, do it like that. But me, you know, I love proving people wrong. I love it. You know? I've been doing it since I started YouTube. You know, so uh, actually longer than that. So, you know, uh, no one's been able to say something that I couldn't do so far. So, you know, it's, everything's great. So we're going to keep going. And uh, and uh, like I said, I got 
actually getting ready for different roles and stuff like that. So, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> and uh, I got things to do, you know. It's point of no return. Like, stop playing around. Get serious, Tyrone. That's what this fast is about, you know. And it's, it's, it's yes, I could lose the weight by eating right and exercise. But I want to do it faster because I've been lollygagging and things are turning up sooner than I thought. So it's, it's time to, you know, where it might take you, you know, a couple of weeks to lose, you know, five pounds or 10 pounds. I've done it in five days. You know what I mean? So um, I think that, that works. <laughs> That's definitely great. Um, and uh, I'm ready to do the damn thing. All right, any other questions before I get off of here? I'll say some of the dumbest things. Someone just called me a Boy Scout. For what? I don't understand. What's the joke with that? I'll be back to LA sooner or later. still out on whether the fact you need certain vitamins and minerals while fasting. I am not really sure. Some people say that they do take vitamins and minerals. Um, from time to time, I will. If I, if I feel funny, I might be like, ah, maybe. They'll tell you if you're cramping and stuff like that. You might, you're getting muscle twitches. You might want to get some potassium in you. So I do have a multivitamin. So some people, I mean, you could take a multi, like vitamin code makes one for men that I use that um, you can actually take on an empty stomach. And that's this one right here. So, uh, you know, if I am concerned about certain nutrients bothering me, you know, I'll just, I'll just take that. Oh yeah, um, yeah. If you have any, if you have any type of problem, even if you're sick, you know, animal. Someone just asked me about muscle tears for fasting. Yeah, go ahead. Did you know that a lot of animals will fast when they're injured? They instinctually know. You know, you, you know, an animal. You throw them in the water. They already know how to swim. You know what I mean? You don't have to teach them. They instinctually just know things. Same thing when they're hurt. They'll just fast. They when when they're sick. And when they're sick, they will fast because you heal faster. Your body, the body expends a, a lot of energy in digestion. So once you're not digesting anything anymore, it has all the energy to devote to doing what it's been wanting to do. And especially if you're hurt, it's going to go to that damaged area and um, take care of it. I tell you this, I had a, I had toenail fungus when I first, um, when I first did my first 10 day fast and I had it in two of my toes on my left foot. It was the middle toe and the, uh, and the index toe, <laughs> my pointer toe. Um, <laughs> and, uh, the 10 day, it got rid of it in one of them. It got rid of it in one of them. So if I had gone a little longer, the other one would have, uh, but I don't, I don't have any more in my feet, but, um, it would have gone, if I had gone longer, it would have got rid of the other one. Yeah, that, that's one thing I've been reading. So, someone said for the newbies, I recommend eating a ketogenic style diet before uh, you do 
Ah, thanks for the tip, man. Uh, for um, before you get into a water fast, because normally most people are eating burn carbs uh, for your energy source. That's what most people. That's what your the, the, the human body's meant to run on anyway. It's also meant to run on fat for for you know it, points where you're fasting, but um, ketogenic meaning where you're only eating something like you know protein and your like vegetables like you know meat and vegetables every day like no fruit no carbs no nothing just meat and vegetables meat and vegetables meat and vegetables and I remember. Um, a doctor put me on that before when he was trying to help me with my candida. And uh, I lost a lot of fucking weight. And it was hard at first. I was weaker in the gym and everything. I remember that. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, a lot weaker in the gym as my body was switching over. I didn't expect to lose the amount of weight that I did. But he got me to the point where my six packs were in and everything. Like, he, he yeah, he put me on that. I did well, man. So, um... Hold on one second. Yeah, so you you get if you get on that type of diet and you're strict, you know, you um You know, you'll get used to not having carbs anymore and it won't make the cravings as bad. Like, I had a buddy who was getting ready for training uh, for, uh, he wanted to be a correctional officer, I think, and he he was uh, really working out hard. And uh, he was only eating, he told me he was only eating, like, broccoli and chicken breast. Like, uh, for all his meals, that's all he was eating. And uh, he got shredded, shredded fast, too. Within like two or three weeks, I didn't recognize him anymore. I was like, holy fuck, man. He was like, yeah, that's all I've been eating. And he was also working out hard. So he, you know, he kind of doubled his efforts. He changed his diet and he was working out more intense in his uh, workouts. So, yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't going to answer Mr. Harper at all. Good thing you did, because he would have never got that answer from me. It's called studying. <laughs> They're like, how, how do you know so much about water fasting? You read up on it. <laughs> how do you know so much about Spider-Man? Well, you've been reading about him for years, right? Okay, that's why you know so much about him. The fasting God came down, touched my forehead, and anointed me with all the knowledge of water fasting. <laughs> Said, I am the spirit of fasting. I am immortal. Now you have my knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it ramps up my libido. <laughs> Yep, six packs coming in. That's right, I know. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Do my ravishing Rick Rude. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to have right now is for all you fat out of shape. YouTube nitwits. Shut your mouths while I take my shirt off and show the ladies the sexiest man alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone just asked me what my weight was. Go back to the beginning of the video. <laughs>
That was an absolute troll there. That was an absolute troll. That's funny. They actually thought that, I guess maybe they thought other people would believe that. <laughs> oh, God. Got rid of their dumbass. Some of you, like, try to troll. Like, if you're going to troll, troll reasonably. Don't troll like, um, um, you know, don't exaggerate your trolling. Because then it's, it's absolute trolling. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I noticed my face. My face got leaner. Even when I smile, you can see, you know, you can see that the jawline, jaw bones coming in. The superhero line. <laughs> no, you do some push ups. Come on, do some push ups, please. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you do some. <laughs> Yeah, it's not related to the stream. I'm not answering it. Uh, hold on a second. Let me check the time. Because I need to get to the gym. Yeah, let me get to the gym now. All right, y'all. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, kiss my black fasting barrier. Yeah. 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 I'm sexy and I know it. Clap my hands. I'm sexy and I know it. Clap my hands. If you sexy and you know it, clap your hands. If you sexy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Ten million subscribers.